everyone, Scottish Lad here, and today we're going to be reviewing a set of the One More Simon Whitlock Special Editions in 24 gram. Let's crack on with it. Right, well, guys, we'll go close up look to the Wizard the Simon Whitlock Special Edition darts. Now, as you could see with the thumbnail, they did originally have purple from kind of here to the end. I've, I've had these since Christmas 2019, so the purple did start to kind of fade away, so I just took it out completely. And I left the black in just because it's something different. You don't see that a lot. And they come with the free flow points, which is always a good pop, a good bonus. It's wisdom, the wisdom. One more prism force stems they come with, with, with the cuts for extra grip. I think I might have broke them or misplaced them, so I've just replaced them with these. And that's the stem, the flights they come with, and they're actually a really nice looking flight. I ended up buying an extra set as well, because I like them that much. But, back to the information about the actual dart. These will set you back around about that 45 quid mark. 44.95 from DoubleTopDarts.com 90% tungsten, obviously made by Winmore. 24 gram these ones. A lot of the reviews I've seen have been in the 22 gram, so I got the 24. Well, I've had the 24, so I thought I'd just review them. Now, I was thinking about removing the black from the front, like I have the rear, but then I thought, and I'll just leave it. Now, surprisingly, there's not a one more logo on these. Not that I can see anyway. Just take it away off cam so I can have a look. There's not a one more logo on these, which is unusual for a one more dart. And they're 50.8mm long, so kind of from there to the end. And there's a kind of scallop in the middle with that ring grip, as you can see. But the grip on these is a strange one, because it's like... It's kind of... your ring cut, like you would usually see. But there's obviously other cuts cut into it. It almost feels like a shark grip, in my opinion, just a long shark grip. With these kind of zigzag cuts, and then these lateral cuts here, back to the zigzag, just a plain ring grip. Which would be great for new middle grippers, because that's scalloped, you're always going to have that as a reference point. And then just the same design for the back, and then the smooth section. Not too bad. And the width is from, it ranges from 6.4 to 7.5 millimetres. For the 6.4 I'm assuming it's kind of this area coming up to about kind of the middle. That's kind of all the same width. And then the 7.5 I'm assuming that's the widest part which is kind of round about here. On the barrels. Which is actually not too bad but you're only going to notice that if you're a front gripper. Obviously I'm kind of thrown from round about this area. That's kind of where I was gripping them. A grip level of 3.5 and, and a scale of 1 to 5. So what we'll do now guys, since I've given you all the information I have on these one more Simon Whitlock Special Editions, take them to the board. I'll just use the setup that's on, have a wee throw with them, we'll see how we got on. Right well guys, we've got a close up look to the board as you can see. As you can see with the close up I've misplaced the original stems, so I've just upgraded to these Harrow's Carbon, which is an upgrade. So. Quite like a 301. Let's see what we can do with these bad boys. Travel one. That's 19. Leaving his way to 82. Now I'm gripping right at the rear. But it's obviously that kind of strange cut, so I'm going to try slightly moving it forward so I'm kind of holding that ring grip. Feels a bit more natural. 242 left. 222. 162 and a cheeky Shanghai at the 20s. 120, what did we have? 252? No, it wasn't because it was. Take away the 120. So that leaves us with 161. Could be wrong there. 
No, it's not. Leave us one six two. One four two. One two eight. Six to eight left. <coughs> now this is where it all goes wrong. I guarantee it. But the grip on these is a definite level three and a half. Great for you middle grippers. I'm holding on that middle grip. It's fantastic. The only thing I wish I'd changed was the points to the finger grip points. I'm feeling my fingers sliding down a little bit. But that's just my personal preference of doing that. It's at least 67. Doing so well until that single one. 65. I don't want to go for the 25 to leave tops because I'll end up hitting the boom, but I'll try it. Right, I'm glad I didn't do that. So that leaves us way 48. And I'm sure we can finish after 48, no bother. Crossing my fingers here. But overall, they're really comfortable to hold if you're a middle gripper. Rear grippers are not too bad. Front gripper, obviously, it's strange for me being a kind of rear gripper, more mid to rear gripper holding the rear, eh, the front, just cause that taper. But it's a really nice dart. But so much better without the purple, though, in my opinion. The purple paint just kind of flaked off, so I just ended up taking it off and left the black at the front. <laughs> right, that leaves us 16. Oh, it's just out. Double four. And we've busted it, hitting that double 18. Not bad. So we've still got 48 left. Overall, it was a really, really nice to throw these. Right, 7 leaves 41. 27 leaves double 7. And 7 leaves 7. Fantastic. Overall though, that's just out I think, I'll double check. Right, so that leaves us with 4. As I said, really nice to throw, I'm not even going to attempt the double 2 to check out. So we'll just go for 3 in the bill. And then we'll get wrapped up. And the nice thing about these darts is once you get them together, but due to that tapered nose, they will get closer, better grouping. So with that, let's go and get wrapped up. Guys, that was my review of the Simon Whitlock Special Editions. Now, if like mine, your paint has started to kind of fall off or chip away, strip it, it's not titanium nitride, it is paint. You could do the same with the front. I left the black on there just to make mine unique. Great set of darts. Grip level is definitely three and a half, and it's definitely unique in terms of the grip. Obviously, that kind of the, the zigzag cuts and the lateral cuts. Great wee set, especially if you're a Simon Whitlock collector, although Simon has never actually used these. Still a great set for any collection, but and a great price as well actually for kind of around about 45 quid mark, can't really go wrong with that. Free flow points, even better, they didn't come with silver, it'd be great if they did come with kind of silver, maybe trident cones instead of the black, but that's something Red Dragon doing not one more, so could be worth changing, but the only thing with the Red Dragon ones, don't come in the length of the free flows. So overall though, Great set of darts. Overall rating of probably 8.5 out of 10. There's a few things I would have changed personally, but that's my personal opinion. But thanks for tuning in and watching, guys. If you're new around here, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And of course, as I say at the end of every video, while COVID's on the go, stay safe out there. It's a horrible world right now. And keep on that.